Stock prices over the ticker. Racing results by wire. Soon radio, I'm told, will transmit news stories within minutes of their occurrence. It's the age of information. And the businessman lives and sometimes dies on its value. Do you know why I'm a successful gambler, Mr. Doyle? Because you're lucky? Yeah. He's lucky. I create my luck. I'm a successful gambler because I never bet on an event whose outcome I'm not sure of in advance. Like the World Series. You put the fix in. I employ research, fact-finding. Due diligence, the lawyers call it. Which brings me to Nucky Thompson, the man you said you know everything about. How was I supposed to know a chauffeur carries a gun? Have you been listening to a single word I've said? Sheer and utter incompetence. A woman is shot, an innocent tourist, no less, and you've tipped my hand to Thompson. Boardwalk at night, do it in public. We figure, sends a message. You sent the message all right, that you're idiots. Devil's food. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll kill that prick myself, Mr. Rothstein. We'll bring you his head if you want. Your grandstanding is commendable, but I have to say, I'm less than convinced. We had bad information, like you said. How can we make it up to you? Nothing says I'm sorry like money. And you're inclined to be warm to me. I wouldn't insult you like that. Because before anything else, I have great respect for you. Your wisdom, your achievements. You're better spoken than I expected. We never really talked before. Are you and Charlie are acquainted? We have someone in common. Yeah, Charlie, discretion. Charlie volunteered to absent himself from this meeting. He felt his presence might be disruptive, but I counseled what? Not let the past get in the way of the future. We are all learning, Mr. Rothstein. And what can I learn from you, Mr. Darmody? That things are changing in Atlantic City. If you're in the market for quality liquor coming in off the beaches at a reasonable price and in good supply, I can get it for you. You, personally? Me, my associates. I'm expanding my business, and you are precisely the type of discerning customer I'm looking for. And Nucky Thompson? Nucky's like a father to me. I got a father. Bailey said hello in five years. Sorry to hear it. Who are you, Mr. Dormady? Pardon? You, you show up well-dressed with a silk cravat and a bold proposal. A year ago, you were a brigand in the woods. Who are you? I'm a businessman, a veteran. I just got married. Congratulations. <clears throat> I have a son. He's almost four. Mm. Cart before the horse. Do you have kids, Mr. Rothstein? No. But I'm told they often say unexpected and amusing things. I appreciate you coming to me. I applaud your audacity. And I give you my word that your offer remains in this room. What does that mean? I'm not sure yet. Mr. Darmody, don't you find it curious neither of us has mentioned that Nucky Thompson spent last night in jail? He did? 
Election fraud, apparently. Well, things seem to be changing faster than I realized. Dombri. Look, they ought don't like saying no. Yeah, it isn't like saying yes, either. Not unless he asks, though. You play poker. It's happened. Myers game. Come downtown later. Sit in. I'll be there. Is this your idea of a setup? Jesus. I thought you was a businessman. Doesn't make me a simp. You know what? Go fry a fucking egg, Farmer John. Hey, Charlie. Just give me the straight dope, all right? Maya thinks we should talk. Maya, Charlie, I believe you know Mr. Masseria? Everybody sure. Joe the boss. And <clears throat> perhaps you also know, though it is of course news to me, that a card game you operate is located in territory that Mr. Masseria considers to be his. No considers. He's mine. My thinking was, before any more blood is shed, that a compromise can be reached. More blood? Tompkins Square Park. My two nephews. I don't know what you're talking about. Apparently, two of Mr. Masseria's emissaries to your establishment were murdered shortly after their visit. We do operate a game in what might be termed a gray area territorially, but as to any violence in the neighborhood... Ah, they stubbed themselves, huh? It's a coincidence that it happens. On my streets. No coincidence. Well, this little prick, since he's 10 years old, he causes problems. Well, it seems to me you boys ought to extend a token of goodwill towards Mr. Messeria. Shall we say a one-time fee of $2,000 for the families of those gentlemen and a tax of 10% on the game going forward? Hold on a fucking second. Charlie. Ten percent is okay. For now. Then we have an agreement. Ma che minchia fa costi a mazzo visto? Ecco mia, pazzo ricco. Con l'altro mano, senza una sacchetta. Picciotto. Non c'è scassà, minchia. Io ti taglio, passo, ti passo. Charlie. Hey, yo. Two grand's bad enough. But 10% of the fucking game. We already pay half the take on that game to you. Yes. And now you boys know why. Arnold. A Nucky Thompson on the telephone. I'll take it in here, darling. How's our stomach? It's still a little tentative. So much apple bread. It has a binding effect. Is that the best thing right now? Sound elimination is the basis of good health. <clears throat> Mr. Thompson. 
Mr. Thompson, to what do I owe the pleasure? A change in my circumstances, as I'm sure you've already heard. And are we discussing a problem or a proposition? It depends which side of the phone you're on. I need a port to land some cargo. I was under the impression Atlantic City was aptly named. The Coast Guard's locked me down. I can't land a mackerel. Well, I have an import operation in Montauk. Long Island. Hmm. Too far. What about Philadelphia? We'd have to cut in Waxy Gordon. I'm listening. That's my 20%. And I'll convince Waxy that 20% for him is a fair price also. That's a pretty penny, Arnold. Of course, my cut includes men to oversee the operation. You remember Mr. Luciano? I do. Then it's settled. Direct your ships to Philly. Let me know the details. You've got a new port of call. I could already feel the brotherly love. Another 50 in the car. The ring of shores. I wish you would stop with this. You slept around with a box of watches. What do we look like? Fellas, you know what time it is. Might as well set up a push car. Arnold Rothstein's here? Talking, Benny. Oh, so I should tell him to go fuck a duck? Enough for the crazy shit already. Huh? Bring him in before he breaks the house. Mr. Rothstein? The baby, the baby. Hey, ha! Uh, did you come to sit in? You know you're always welcome. I'm afraid those sharpers out there would fleece me. <laughs> Owing to his present difficulties, I've made a deal with Nucky Thompson. He'll be offloading his liquor shipments in Philadelphia. Waxy Gordon will ensure safe arrival. The route to Atlantic City will be my responsibility. And you'd like us to recruit the muscle? I would like you to be the muscle. Hey, you are. We, uh, got some business going on just now. I can see that. But Mr. Thompson is paying me a premium. Anybody could ride shotgun. Until you encounter Indians. We're honored. By your trust, they are and flattered that you would come below 14th Street to discuss it personally. Aren't we, Charlie? Sure. As it happens, I was down here having dinner with Joe Masseria, who left me with a distinct impression he'd still like both of you dead. You broke bread with that prick. We were served a native dish of tripe, which I cannot abide. But I ate it anyway to keep the peace. Some things, Charlie, you just have to swallow. We maintain those odds. And he's a late entry? It's unorthodox, yes, but there's nothing illegal about it. Set the spider to the fly. Well, you've been known to spin webs yourself, my friend. They are. Charlie, Meyer, say hello to Max Hirsch. Hey, guys. Nice to make you acquaintance. A pleasure. Max trains sidereal. He's running at Aqueduct on the 4th of July. <laughs> Not yet, he ain't. We'll continue to talk. Can we agree on that? You'll talk. I'll listen. How you boys making out? Not so great, but it's nice to get out in the sun. There are cheaper ways to get a tan than picking losers. Hey, you're telling me. My last horse is still running. What's the word from Philadelphia? Business as usual, near as I can tell. There's a shipment on Thursday from Bill McCoy. 
Well, Lucky Thompson's still alive, so until we hear otherwise. Any idea what happened there? Well, with Thompson? Who knows? Way it is, he's got a beef with his brother. Really? I would have thought James Darmody myself. Nah. Darmody ain't got it in him. Pillow talk, Charlie? Well, the mother. I'm true with that. What's the matter? Manure. But what can you expect when you conduct your business in a stable? Tax evasion. Nucky, Mr. Thompson. Thank you for coming. I apologize for the accommodations. How do we do this in private? How can we help, Nuck? You can start by getting the piss ants who work for you in line. Vito Scalercio? Never heard of him. Well, he shot me, John. And before the Fed shot him, he was living in a building leased by your boy. What? Al Capone. I knew something was up. The little prick's been talking to your Jimmy Darmody. He came to see me months ago. Al did. Mr. Darmody, offering to sell me liquor. Now you're telling me this? The day after you were arrested. In any case, I turned him down. And Luciano? Lansky, can you vouch for them? That they're not in cahoots with Darmody? No, I can't. But I can tell you one of Waxy Gordon's men was killed making your delivery last month. A failed hijacking, I was told. The pups have grown fangs, gentlemen. What are you gonna do? What would you do, John? Kill the prick. I'm under indictment. The feds are up my ass. Then take a plea. Retire someone. With what? All my money's tied up at a land deal. Do nothing. I beg your pardon? Well, you have no move, Mr. Thompson. You do nothing. He's under attack, Arnold. There's all the more reason for patience. I've made my living, Mr. Thompson, in large part as a gambler. Some days I make 20 bets. Some days I make none. There are weeks, sometimes months, in fact, when I don't make a bet at all because there simply is no play. So I wait. Plan, marshal my resources. And when I finally see an opportunity, and there is a bet to make, I bet it all. I'd understood it was brown. Some is. There's all different types. It should be gold, the me. They try it once, you got a customer for life. And your supplier? Some chink downtown. Ship it in from the Orient. We could start an import operation. Chinese lanterns, things of that nature. Cut out the middleman. Just so you know, we come to you with this first. Out of respect. Sir, Lucky Thompson call. Mr. Thompson, congratulations. I hear Mr. Fallon earned his fee. Well, I'm sure he thinks he did. <laughs> what can I do for you? Manny Horvitz. Mm -hmm. I've heard the name. And if he were suddenly to be among the departed? Why do you ask? As a courtesy. He has a connection to Waxy Gordon, who I know has a connection to you. If Mr. Horvitz were to go? Who gives a shit? I would have no opinion one way or the other. Well, then. 
It appears I have a decision to make. Flip a coin. When it's in the air, you'll know which side you're hoping for. <laughs> 